Hey guys, it is Monday, August 10th. I'm back from Tennessee and I have 25 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing is right here. I went ahead and pulled it from my storage unit. This is a Jerry Nadeau. I might be mispronouncing that. Uh, it's a die-cast car. I got this as part of a big bulk buy of die-cast cars. So I've got $5 into it. And this buyer bought another one too. I think it's over here somewhere. Yeah, it is right here in A2. It's a Dale Jarrett. This one right here. Uh, the two cars together sold for $39.98 plus shipping. Those are both going out to viewer named Dan. Dan, thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like those cars. Okay, next is over here in B8. It's this car right here. This is part of all the cars I drove up to Cleveland and bought. It is a 1956 Ford Sunliner. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is an A4. And I think I sold a number of things out of here, so I'm pulling the whole tote. I know that I sold both of these Cincinnati Cyclones Wizards, Wand Wizards. Got these at a garage sale, I think two weeks ago, for 75 cents each, and each one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. One of these is going out to viewer. Jimmy bought this. Jimmy, thank you for the business. Really appreciate it. Okay, what else did I sell out of here? I sold this Panthers hat right here, new with the tags, for $14.99 plus shipping. I've got a dollar into that. Okay, I think that's it for this bin. All right, next is up here in C1. This is some old uh, DuPont 8mm film, never used, obviously expired, unfortunately. Uh, this is part of a big bulk buy camera stuff I made probably like six months ago, so I don't have much into this. It sold for $19.99, free shipping. Nicole in North Carolina bought this. Thanks for the support, Nicole. Okay, I sold some of this Aqua Age stuff. I think I am totally out of it now. Yeah, this is the last of it. I got a whole bunch of this at a garage sale maybe a month ago. I'm into each piece for about $3. Um, one person bought one for $24.99 plus shipping. And another buyer bought two of them for $49.98 plus shipping. Okay, I sold a baseball glove down here in B5. It is this one right here. This is a Mizuno nv2 really nice infielder's glove this is part of a bulk buy i might have like five bucks into it this sold for 24.99 plus shipping all right next up we're pulling e4 and i know i sold a few things out of here at least so let's see what we got i know i sold this georgetown hoyas hat it's got a cool corduroy bill there uh, i've got a dollar into this it's sold for 14.99 plus shipping this is going out to viewer named chandler chandler thank you so much for the support really hope you like this hat chandler also has an instagram page for his vintage stuff called madtown vintage so if you guys want to check that out i'll put a link down below in the description all right we're going up to d8 next sold another thor dorbs uh this sold for 5.99 plus shipping all right back to e4 i <laughs> lost track and forgot i was pulling stuff out of here let's see i sold another hat it is the new jersey nets i think it's this one right here new with the tags is sold for 19.99 plus shipping that has gone out to viewer named jeff and he says hey john i'm a huge fan of your channel i started reselling in april after watching tons of videos from you and other resellers and learned lots I've been able to grow my store as a part-time reseller. Recently got my 90-day average to $22,000. Jeff, that is incredible, man. I'd really like to check out your eBay store, and if you guys want to see it too, I'll put a link down below in the description. Jeff, thank you for the business, and keep up the great work. Okay, the other one I sold out of here is the Toronto Blue Jays. This hat right here, although this year they're playing in Buffalo, a little bit weird. Um, this is also part of that big lot of hats I got. I've got a dollar into this. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Once again, this is going out to viewer. You guys have been spoiling me with sales lately. Steven bought this. Steven, thank you for the support. Really hope you like the hat. Okay, I also sold this Edmonton Oilers hat. New with the tags. This one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is it for E4. So we're going to close that up, put it back. And next thing we're pulling is in B1. This is a U.S. Army license plate, new in the plastic, part of a book buy I made maybe like three or four months ago. I've only got a few pennies into this because there was a whole bunch of them with the bulk lot that I bought. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. This is going out to a young man named Colin, who is a viewer of the channel. Colin, really appreciate the business. Hope you like this license plate. All right, I sold a pint glass right up here. This is a Barry Sanders glass. I got a whole case of these at a garage sale, so I've maybe got like a quarter into it. That sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Your name Joe bought this, who also has an eBay store, which I will link down below. Joe, thank you so much for the support. All right, I sold that Sony Walkman. This guy right here. I've never seen this model before. I found this at a garage sale a few weeks ago for $2. Had the um, 
had the microphone with it, it had the AC adapter and everything, and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping, and looks like I used the bag to store it, and also came with it at the garage sale, so i to make sure I take that sticker off of there. Okay, next up we're going to A3. Sold this 10 can robot, new in the plastic. Paid a couple dollars for it. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Next, we're coming down here to A6. Sold another hat. Let's see. Where is it in here? I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. St. Louis Cardinals. New with tags. Paid a dollar for it. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. That has going out to viewer named Dustin. He says, hey, John, long time watcher of the channel and even longer Cardinals fan. It's been a weird season for them, hasn't it? They've had like... 14 games postponed. It's been crazy. Thanks for the knowledge you share, all of us resellers. Keep putting out great content. Was wondering if you could shout out my store. I've been reselling for about two years, and my wife and I love it. My username is Del Rung. Thanks so much. Stay safe. Dustin, thank you for the support. Happy to put a link out for your eBay store. I'll put it down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. All right, next thing's down here is C6. Let's see here. It is one of these. It is a house sitter watchdog timer. I picked up three or four of these at a garage show for a dollar each, and this sold for $11.99 for shipping. Sold a couple of metal detectors at a D3. These are uh, White's handheld bullseye metal detectors. Selling these for my mother in law. Each one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold a bumper sticker. I'm just about out of these things. This sold for $9.99 for shipping. All right, next thing I sold is out of this bin that I've been working in this morning. It is a Jose Cuervo hat. Got this about three or four months ago at a garage sale. I've got about a dollar into it. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Your name Alejandro bought this. Alejandro, thank you so much for the business. I really hope you like this hat. All right, getting down to just the last few. I got one here in C3 that sold. This is a GE fluorescent uh, slimline light fixture. Got this at the garage sale for a dollar. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Never mind, that's the last one. I thought I had a few more to, to pull and ship, but that is the last thing for today. It's Tuesday morning. I've got eight eBay orders to ship out. First is down here in B6. It is a Lord of the Rings set of books. Let's see. I think it was right here. This is in a lot of books that I just recently picked up. Um, I've only got a dime into this set right here. Uh, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Those books are going out to viewers buying it for his wife, Pauline. So thank you for the support. Really hope she likes those books. All right, in that same bin, I sold this uh, Hulk toy. Got this as part of a bulk buy maybe like two months ago. I've probably only got a couple of dollars into it. Sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Okay, one more thing we're pulling out of here. Uh, this is a Before the Golden Age book. I also got this with the Lord of the Rings books and all those other science fiction books I bought. Um, also have 10 cents into this. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is going out to viewer named Jackie. Jackie, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next we're going down here to A5. It is, let's see, these right here. These are um, Columbia Records catalogs from the 1920s. Uh, these are part of that stuff I bought up in Cleveland. Probably don't have more than a couple dollars into when they sell for $24.99 free shipping. All right, coming over here to F2 next. Got this down in Tennessee for the 127 yard sale. This is my first sale of the stuff I bought down there. Paid $10 for this. It sold for $32.99 plus shipping. All right, next we're coming down here to E6. It is a lot of five books. Let's see these right here. These are five Christopher Stashif books. I've got 50 cents into them. They sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Those are going out to viewer named Russell. He says, huge fan and subscriber of both channels. Thank you for being a great inspiration, not only to reselling, but also to fostering. Russell, thank you so much for the business. And if you guys don't know the channel he's talking about, that is a channel I do with my wife called Be The Village. It documents our journey as foster parents. So if you haven't seen it, Check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, next thing is right here in E8. It is this monster tractor right here, Oliver 99. This is part of all the diecast models I bought up in Cleveland. This sold for $119.99 plus shipping. Okay, last thing we're pulling are some pogs. I got a huge box of these at a garage sale a few months back. I paid five bucks for the whole box, and I've been selling them in packs of two for $11.99 free shipping. Those pogs are going out to viewer named Raymond. He says, 
Hey John, I've been watching for quite a while and you and a few other YouTubers I really enjoy watching push me to just go ahead and start being a reseller. Congrats man, that's awesome. I also got an antique booth due to seeing your success. Just wanted to show a little support. I grew up with Pogs and these are sweet. I'd love if you had a sticker you could send. I'm trying to collect YouTube reseller stickers. I also just started uploading as well. My channel is Raymundo's Resell Endeavors. I will gladly send some stickers and I'll check out your channel as well. If you guys want to see Raymond's channel, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right guys, I'm done packing orders. I am heading to my antique mall right now. I usually like to go there once a week. I spend about an hour just kind of cleaning up my two booths and restocking them with inventory, but I haven't been there in a couple weeks. So I don't know what they're looking like, but I do have a van load of stuff to replenish some stock. I know what is sold, luckily, because they have a website for consigners, so, or for vendors, I guess, uh, that shows you everything that sells, when it sells, how much it sells for, and that really helps me because it gives me an idea of what I need to bring in to like fill those gaps. That way I'm not just going in blind, trying to guess what's sold and have no idea like if I'm gonna have space for this stuff. I try to primarily put things in my booths that won't compete with my eBay sales. If, if I know something's gonna sell pretty well on eBay, I'm just gonna put it on eBay. You know, the booth is for bigger items. I really like to put records in there because most of the time records are worth like $10 or less. And it's a really tricky thing to list on eBay because most record collectors are gonna want some kind of grading on the record. Um, you know, whether it's VG or VG plus or EX, I, I honestly don't even know what our, all the grades are, but I know there's a way to examine it and see how many scratches it's got and all this stuff, and then you assign it some kind of grade, and that is really just an opinion type thing, and something that I don't want to get into because it just opens up a can of worms for bad feedback and all that stuff. So I have just been selling records in my booth exclusively, not on eBay, and I'm doing great with them. I average like four or five record sales a day in the booth. So those have just been excellent to have in there. All right, so it's kind of a jumbled mess, but a lot of this is what I just brought in. Got a big box of vinyl records. Pretty good ones in here too. Todd Rundgren, Austin, Who, Cool in the Gang. I think I got about 40 or 50 that I'm replenishing. And as you can see, a lot of them have been selling. This one was, this whole like crate was full maybe a month ago. Brought in this um, little like wicker kids cabinet, uh, football cooler, these skis. Those are really cool. I got those as part of a bulk buy maybe a couple months ago. The scale. Tricycle that I found in the garage, half of five bucks. It's Pier One Imports uh, vase. Signed Chad Johnson jersey. I got that in the garage for 10 bucks. Also got this um, old window in the garage for five bucks. Those seem to do well in here. And down here, there's a whole tote of smalls. We got some bobbleheads, comic books, different wall hangers, camera. There's a bunch of stuff. And not all this is going to fit in this booth. Some of it is going to go to my other booth, so we'll walk down there. Not too far away, only about five booths down. So this spot will be good for the bobbleheads, the smalls. Obviously, I got a rack for comic books and stuff. And while I'm here, I'll check my guest book, see who signed in. A lot of you guys have stopped by and signed the guest book since I've last been here. So I want to give a special thank you to George and Jennifer, Mike and Brandon, Mickey and Evie, Dustin, Abby, and Baby J, Jesse and Carol. Taylor and Mallory, Nicole and James, Melissa and Todd, Denise and Ron, and Chrissy and Greg. Thank you all so much for stopping by the booze. It means a lot to me. It is now Wednesday, August 12th, and I've got almost 20 eBay orders to ship out, but I am at my shipping supply company to get some boxes. I sold that big Levi sign that I found down in Tennessee, and it is awkward and just huge, and I don't have a box that's gonna fit it, so I had to get a special box from this place, and I got some small boxes here as well. Uh, I'm at AM Shipping Supplies, and if there's anybody local Cincinnati that needs a good place to get, you know, inexpensive shipping stuff, I highly recommend these guys. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I've just used them for years, and 
I like their service. Here's the big box I got for the Levi's sign. This guy right here. And I got some small boxes too. I generally don't like buying a lot of boxes, but these are really good for when I have to ship out first class mail stuff. So these are six by four by fours, and then these are eight by six by fours. They're like 25 cents, 30 cents a piece, something like that. But the money saved when I ship out the first class mail stuff pays for the box because these only weigh a couple ounces, so these work really good for hats, and I'll usually use these for you know, any kind of like collectible, something like that, that I don't want broken, that won't work in a uh, poly mailer. Okay, time to ship some eBay orders. This, I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. I got this retail arbitrage, I wanna say about a year ago. Got quite a few of them, actually. I paid about seven bucks for this. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And here is that Levi's sign I was telling you guys about. I got this in Tennessee for 40 bucks, and I listed it for 150 somebody sent me an offer of 130 plus shipping and i accepted all right i went ahead and pulled the f1 bin because i know i sold a handful of things out of here first are these mini dv cassette tapes i'm selling for my mother-in-law they sold for 29.99 free shipping anytime you guys see like a multi-pack of sealed uh vintage media like this just pick it up because it does really well all right i guess i was wrong i only sold one thing out of here f2 is the one i was thinking of that I sold a number of things. So I will put this back and let's grab F2. Okay, I sold a whole bunch of stuff out of here. Uh, the first, I think, is a license plate. This Nova Scotia one. I got a big stack of license plates in Tennessee. Got a couple dollars into each one because I bundled them together. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Also sold this license plate, uh, it is Canadian CP Rail, in pretty rough shape, but it's a pretty uncommon plate. This also sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Sold this Boston Red Sox helmet. Uh, this is part of that big buy of sports memorabilia I bought from Jeremy down in Tennessee, so I've probably only got a dollar or two into this. This one sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Sold this autographed helmet. It was also part of that sports memorabilia buy. Uh, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. That helmet's going out to viewer named Jace, and he says, I'm a huge fan of yours, and you have inspired me to record my own videos. Your boy resells. I'm based in Chattanooga and actually work for the Lookouts. Thank you so much for the inspiration for everything. Good luck on everything, and stay safe. Jace, thank you so much for the support, and I'll gladly check out your YouTube channel. If you guys want to see it too, I'll put a link down below in the description. So this helmet's pretty interesting. It has a bunch of autographs from the Chattanooga Lookouts. That's what that logo is. It is a minor league team. Used to be affiliated with the Reds. Now it's affiliated with the Dodgers. And I'm gonna walk in here and show you guys the other helmets I have and kind of what my thought process is in selling this stuff. So I've still got three or four autographed uh, full-size helmets. And then I've got six or seven autographed mini helmets. And then I've got a huge tote of autographed baseballs and each baseball has like 15 20 signatures on it and i mean there's so many of these as you can see so what i decided to do with those i really wasn't crazy about the idea of researching and trying to find every name on every single ball i just thought it would take way too long to do that so instead i'm just selling them as an autograph team ball an autograph team helmet and just asking like 10 bucks each so there's probably some good players on there that are now major leaguers. I know Yasiel Puy came through, Chattanooga, D. Gordon, a lot of pros came through there. But I just don't want to spend the time to look up all those autographs. So I'm just selling them as a team ball, 10 bucks plus shipping. And I've already sold one helmet, and I think I've sold a couple baseballs that i got to pull. I also got a whole lot of autograph cards in that lot. Let's open these up here. If I had to guess, there's probably close to a 1,000 of them in here. And they're all individually signed. I think with these, what I'm going to do is I'll probably lot them in like lots of 50, something like that. Maybe for like $20 or so. All right, pulling some more stuff out of F2. Let's see, I know this Dickies hat sold. Got this in Tennessee for a dollar. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Also sold this Atlanta Braves hat. I also paid a dollar for this and it sold for $11.99 plus shipping. This one's going out to viewer named Tim. Tim, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, I sold this PC game right here. 
I got four or five PC games at one sale down in Tennessee, and I think I just overpaid. I paid like, I think $4 each for them, because I was thinking they'd sell between $20 and $30, and I just way overvalued them. Uh, this one right here sold for $14.99, free shipping. Okay, last thing we're pulling out of here is a book. It's a science fiction book that I bought a couple weeks ago at a garage sale. I've got 10 cents into it. It is Alone Against Tomorrow by Harlan Ellison. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. All right, next up, we're coming down here to C5. This is a drill battery and charger for Black & Decker. Got this at a garage sale maybe a month ago. Paid five bucks. It sold for $32.99 free shipping. Next is another Black & Decker product right here in C3. This is a little vacuum filter, part of a bulk bias stuff that I made. I've maybe got, I don't know, quarter 50 cents into this. Sold for $8.99 free shipping. Okay, I sold a Teddy Ruxpin Bear. Where is that thing? Here he is. I actually had one of these when I was a kid. Got this as part of a bulk buy. The box is pretty beat up and he kind of worked intermittently. So I made sure I disclosed that in the description. If he was in perfect working condition and the box was in better shape, I think I could have got more money for him. But as it was, it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Okay, next down here at F6. Sold a couple of those baseballs I was telling you guys about. Let's see here. Uh, sold this one right here for $9.99 plus shipping. And Jace, your boy resells, bought this one too. I didn't catch that. Uh, this also sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Thanks, Jace. Sold a couple of the Funko Dorbs up here in D8. Okay, I sold Sully from Monsters, Inc. And I sold Boo from Monsters, Inc. If I can just find them. I think this is Boo right here. And there's Sully. Uh, the pair sold for $11.98 plus shipping. All right, one more item to pull, and then I am done pulling orders for the day. This guy right here at E7. This is the first gear brand international bulldozer. Has a manual and everything, pretty cool. Uh, part of the stuff I bought up in Cleveland, this sold for $119.99 plus shipping. Hey guys, it is now Thursday, August 13th, and I've got like 15 eBay orders to ship out today, but I got some mail from the post office and I think I know what it is. So let's open it up. All right, that's what I thought it was, a check for $24.99. So the reason I got that check is because I had to file a claim uh, through USPS.com. I've been shipping out a ton of those diecast cars that I've been buying and I've been packing them really well. I'm using the big bubble wrap and I'm putting a ton of bubble wrap and packing paper and everything in there. And I think I've shipped out like maybe 50 or 60 of them and so far only one of them had shown up damaged so i filed a claim through usps.com if you guys have never done it it's pretty easy to do i'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it all right so you just want to go to usps.com you want to scroll over help on the far right side and then hit filing a claim and then scroll down here to step three and hit start an online claim you want to log into your account and then you enter in the tracking number so you want to enter in the tracking number there's a couple here that i've already put in um and then you put in the ship date and it'll find it and then from there it just asks for some more info so they want to know the reason for the claim if it was lost if it was damaged um if you paid any insurance fees if you were the mailer or if you were the addressee you're going to put in um, your address where they're going to mail you the check. And then you want to put in the uh, package information, description, uh, when it was purchased, how much it's sold for. Um, right here, you need to upload proof of value. So I usually do a screenshot of the eBay sale and I put it in there. And you can um, add more pictures too uh, for damage. So you can show them how it was damaged. And if you have pictures of how it was packed too with bubble wrap, sometimes that helps. I've only had to do that a handful of times and it usually goes pretty smoothly. I usually get a check in like 10 to 14 days, something like that. So if you guys have a buyer that tells you that something showed up damaged, the way I handle it is I just refund them immediately. I always say, hey, send me some pictures of the damage. Once they send those, I refund them right away because I need those pictures to file the claim. Uh, and it's the same with FedEx too. You can go on FedEx and file a claim. It's pretty easy. I've had to, I've had to file a couple claims through them over the years. But in my experience, that's the best way to handle it. Get some pictures from them, refund them right away, and then you go and get the money from either the post office or FedEx. Okay, time to ship some eBay orders. And the first sale is right here. It's this vintage Toshiba stereo. I picked this up in Tennessee for the 127 yard sale last weekend. Paid $3 for it, and it powered on, 
and it would play a radio station but when you mess with the volume it kind of got staticky and it'll play a tape but no sound will come through so i made sure i put all that in the listing this thing is very rare i could not find the same model in the red color not on ebay or worthpoint.com i found a similar one uh, active listing on ebay that was new in the box and they were asking like 900 dollars or best offer or something like that so with it not working i just kind of threw a number out there i th listed it for 150 dollars your best offer somebody sent me a best offer of 85 dollars plus shipping and i accepted anytime you guys find vintage radios that have a cool color to them blue pink red orange whatever it is if it's cheap pick it up because they are highly collectible all right next is back here in f2 i have a feeling i sold more than one thing out of here so I'm just going to bring the whole tote over. Uh, first thing that's sold is a license plate. This is the 1951 Pennsylvania plate I also got in Tennessee. I paid, I think it was like $2, 3 for it because it was part of a bundle deal. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This is going out to be your name, Kate. Kate, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Okay, um, now I'm starting to think maybe I didn't sell anything else out of F2. So we might just put it back. Oh, no, I sold this hat right here. This is a vintage alabama crimson tide hat i also got this in tennessee i paid three dollars for it it sold for 19.99 plus shipping the hat's going out to the viewer named connor he says i'm from alabama and i love the channel i was wondering if you could please throw in a sticker with the hat great find on the welding helmet happy pickings connor i'll gladly throw in a sticker for you and thank you for your business all right that's it for f2 put that away next we're coming over here to d4 this is a white eclipse coil for a metal detector. Selling this for my mother-in-law. This sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is some spark plugs up here in C1. I have these listed in lots of two, and somebody bought the last three lots that I had. Um, total with these six, I've maybe got $3 into them. Uh, all six sold for $29.97 free shipping. Next, we're going to B1. Sold a couple things out of here, actually. First is this Kelly Moore handbag. That was my wife's. It is, um, the Kelly Moore brand is like designer purses for photographers. So inside it's got like dividers for uh, lenses and camera bodies and all that stuff. And she used it for a while and got something else. So this sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And the other thing I sold is another license plate, uh, US Army. I've only got a few cents into this. It sold for $8.99, free shipping. Okay, moving right along. Sold this big thing right up here. Gotta move this box out of the way though. This is a racing wheel. It's actually universal for PS2, PS1, Xbox, and GameCube. Got this at a, um, it was a sale in this like animal shelter thing, maybe like two months ago. It was part of like a just big pile of stuff that I made. And they only charged me 10 bucks for everything. So I might have like one or two dollars into this. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is in C3. This is a GE light fixture. I got four of these at a garage sale maybe a month ago for a dollar each. And this is the third one I've sold. Sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Okay, next we're coming down here to D6. Sold a hat. It is this STP hat. New old stock. Still got the cardboard in there. I only got a dollar into this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. That's going out to viewer named Colby. He says, hey, John, love the videos. I've started doing some short videos on TikTok, actually, as the citrus picker. Thanks for all the inspiration. Uh, my wife loves TikTok. She makes videos on there, too, so I'll definitely check it out, Colby. Thank you for the support. Okay, next thing, we're going over here C1. This is a Rawlings, like, baseball softball glove uh, that I got for a dollar. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, sold something at A3. I've been working in this bin this morning. Uh, this is a Herbert Hoover bobblehead. Got this at a garage sale a couple weeks ago for $2, and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Coming down to A6 next. It is a patch. Let's see, where is it at? This one right here. This is a vintage bad to the bone skeleton patch. Part of a bulk buy, I've got less than a dollar into it. It sold for $12.99, free shipping. This is going out to viewers, Adam and Stephanie. Guys, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. Next thing's down here in F6. This is also something that I found in Tennessee for the Route 127 sale. Where's it at? Right back in here. 
This is an Owlet. It is a smart sock baby monitor. Paid 40 bucks for it. It sold for $109.99 plus shipping. It's Friday morning. I just got back from the garage sales. I have a handful of eBay orders to ship out. And I'm in a bit of a time crunch, actually. Uh, my kids' school is closed today. So my wife's watching them for the first half of the day while I work. And then I'm going to go home after this and watch them for the rest of the day so that she can get some work done. So I went ahead and pulled all the eBay orders. I'm gonna run through these and show you guys what I got. All right, first is the Star Wars Battlefront 2 PC game. Um, I paid $4 for this. Uh, not really a great buy, actually, in hindsight. This sold for $11.99, free shipping. This bobblehead right here, my dad actually got it at a garage sale um, last weekend while I was in Tennessee. He was sitting the local sales, finding some stuff for me. And uh, I think he gave like $2 for this. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. He also found this uh, Delta model airplane for a couple bucks. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Found this Shark uh, RC toy. It's like a blow up thing. Paid a dollar for this at a garage sale uh, about a month ago. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Over here we got three mini helmets and one jumbo helmet down here. Same buyer got all this stuff. This first jumbo helmet and one of the mini ones, uh, they paid $24.98 plus shipping. And then two of these minis, they paid $29.98 plus shipping. All those helmets are going out to a viewer named Randy, who's bought for me before. So Randy, thank you for the continued support. It really means a lot. Okay, I sold this Chicago Blackhawks jersey. I got this in a book buy at my buddy Josh's house. So I've probably got 4 or $5 into it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. The jersey's going out to a viewer named Brandon. He says, looking to add this to my jersey collection just in time for playoff hockey. Would you be able to shout out my friend's eBay account who watches your videos? His account is hold roger zero thank you for all your content you post it really brightens up my day brandon thank you so much for the kind words i'll gladly check out your buddy's ebay store and if you guys want to see it too i'll put a link down below in the description all right next is these jvc uh blank vhs tapes selling those for my mother-in-law those sold for 29.99 free shipping these things always do well if you can find them for cheap definitely pick them up and last but not least we're shipping out this uh tommy hilfiger crew neck pullover sweater got this for a dollar or two it sold for 13.99 plus shipping what's going on some of you named graham graham thank you for the business hope you like the sweater that's it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye